What's up, bitch babe? It's your girl Blake, and I am back with another video. In today's video, you guys, I am going to do a trial and error with Irish Sea Moss Gel. So what I'm gonna do is, I heard that it's not only good for you to consume, it's also good for your skin. It actually says on the bottle, on the container, it's good for teeth, bones, weight loss, eczema, psoriasis, inflammation, arthritis, blood, thyroids, cold, flu, hair, hair rashes, varicose veins, ulcers, heart, diabetes, it nourishes the skin, sunburn, halitosis and mucus so that's why it's all the rave right now and it should be especially during this pandemic so i'm glad everybody got hip to the sea moss and i am one of the people that's getting hip to the sea moss okay so i already have my um sea moss smoothies but i want to try it for my skin because i don't have the best skin you guys and this has been like <sighs> this has been like a lifelong struggle with my skin um, I have never had like really clear skin like I'll have breakouts and then I'll have good times but it's never it's never clear clear I've never been completely blemish free and that's what I'm trying to get to so what I decided to do was do a um, review on sea moss gel see if it's good for at least my skin because i know everybody's skin is different so it might work for some people it might not work for me it may work for me it might not work for some people hopefully it'll work for everyone before we get this video started make sure you like comment and subscribe and um i'm gonna go ahead and put a sea moss gel mask on my face and let it dry and then i'm gonna rinse it off I'm going to see if I'm going to see a difference right away, but I'm going to do this over a period of five days and I'm going to give you guys updates for five days. So this is going to be, you know, a five day video. So I put a lot of effort into this, guys. So make sure you do like, please comment. And if you're not part of the family, just visiting. Subscribe. I also wanted to talk about the drama with B-Love and her cameo appearance. Her cameo shout outs and her price for her cameo shout outs. People are crazy. So I have a cotton ball and I'm gonna just apply it to my face all over. Oh my God, it feels good. My face, my skin has just been a bone of contention for me. I've tried literally everything, but my thing is consistency. Like I would never do it long enough to work. So I am gonna be consistent. So I can see results. You got it? It's the only way to go, guys. Consistency gets you the results. That you de desired results. I've already did before pictures right here. Somewhere on this screen. So you guys can see the extent. Because when you have on a ring light, you don't really get to see the blemishes, blemishes. But I know you guys have spotted them in other videos. So I have this mirror right here too I can use. Let me get it as close to my eyes as possible. So the drama with Be Love, there's an app called Cameo where influencers, celebrities, whoever affiliate themselves with Cameo. You can look them up on Cameo and they have a set price for shout outs. So if you're an entrepreneur and which makes the most sense, I don't know why a random person would want a shout out unless it has something to do with their business. Which that I'm sure those are the people that are complaining. But the long and short of it is people are so hot and bothered about her pricing. Her price is $100 for a, like a 10 minute shout out. One uh, channel that I'm subscribed to, which I won't say the name, but he said that he got a shout out from B-Love before his channel was popping and he got an extra 8,000 subscribers. Like why would you not? Why would, like $100 investing into yourself, your business, your channel, your clothing line, your whatever, is worth it because she has the clout. Like why, and she's offering her services. Like why do people think or expect, I keep reapplying, but I just wanna make sure that it's all over. So I'm gonna let this dry, you guys, and talk to you guys, and then we'll rinse. I saw her do a video 
I was wondering if she was going to do a video about, because I heard about all the backlash she was getting from her fans saying, why would you charge people $100 in a pandemic? And it's like, so she said, she posed the question, which was very valid. Should I take my butter sauce off of Amazon because it's a pandemic? Like, people that can pay for it will pay for it. And people that can't, shouldn't. It's just very simple. I, I just don't understand. She, I mean, I just don't understand. It's because she has millions. Any other, you know, entrepreneur is still selling or offering services during the pandemic. I don't. And the people that can pay for it are paying for it. Like, I don't, I don't understand what people, what people expect her to do. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But she's always been a platform that reaches back and, you know, tries to uplift smaller channels, give you game, you know. Like, I don't know. Whoever hates Be Love is like a psycho. Seriously. Like, literally, you need help. Like, you literally need help. But people are going to find something. They're just so miserable. And you, all you can do is pray. Now, right now, I don't have hate comments because my channel is a small channel. But when I do, because my channel will blow up in Jesus' name, I'm not going to be responding to hate comments. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to pray for you. Or I might sing a hymn for you, okay? And I'm going to keep it moving. Have a blessed day. So, I mean, I, I, I welcome them. I welcome all comments, but nobody's comment is going to make or break me or my channel. So I just feel bad for her and I don't want her to stop trying to uplift and help people out because of the backlash she's getting from miserable people. Like that's just, that's just terrible. You know, shoot, I might mess around and get her to cameo my channel. Like why not? I've been investing in so many other things for my channel, for my boutique. Why would I stop? Like, I'm not where I want to be. So I'm going to continue to invest in my channel. And if that means, you know, paying somebody for a, a 10 minute shout out, five minute shout out, or somebody on the, that has the, the uh, platform that she does, why would I not? And I, and I like her. I'm not just going to, like, I'm not going to just have any random, you know, person shout out my brand if I'm not aligned with their brand do you understand like I'm not gonna just have some heavy metal channel shout my brand out and I'm not even into that you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna have someone that has the same interests she's faith-based you know what I'm saying she like to eat I do too I do mukbangs too you know what I'm saying so I make it make sense so yeah, don't be surprised y'all. She be chomping down on those crab legs and say, oh, shout out to Bench Family Vlogs. Oh. So, update on mask. It is almost dry. I just feel this little wet spot right here. It's wet right here. It's probably where I reapplied 10 times. Oh, it really is cracking like a little mask. Look like ashy. I look a little ashy in the face. And I kept this bump right here. My husband was so mad. If you guys see it right there. It's kind of a white head, it's coming to a head, but he's one of those pimple popping people. It's disgusting. But he enjoys popping the pimples of his loved ones. So he was, he had to storm out the room because I would not let him pop this pimple because I'm like, I wanna see how this sea moss does. You're not really supposed to pop your pimples anyway because that's what causes the blemishes, which I already have hyperpigmentation. So he be all right. So this part is a little bit wet, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a second. And um, yeah, and I'll update you guys in a minute. All right, see you in the next clip. So guys, I'm completely dry. It's been about 10 minutes, and let me let you guys see. Close up, Let's see, it looks like ash, ashiness. So anyways, so that's how it dries I got my black soap and my rag and I'm about to wash my face dry it off and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it okay see you in a sec so guys I just washed my face with black soap 
dried it off. I'm just rubbing in some coconut oil. I put like a smidge of coconut oil on my face, rubbed it in. And yeah, so of course you don't see any results right now, but I'm optimistic. So this is just day one. I'll see you day two. Say bye guys, see you day two. Put me down. Oh, my little baby. See you guys day two.